Hello folks, this is Glenn Guy. This short video will explore how we can do a search for a domain name. So I'm just going to uh, open up Google search here, the Google browser, and I'm going to type in domain name and there's some options down here. Domain name, domain name search, domain name registration, etc. Um, domain name search might make sense, but I'm just going to actually type the word search in here because I've actually drilled down a little further by doing that to probably some more appropriate options such as domain name search tool or domain name search who is. Um, that one and the one underneath it, domain name search owner, actually tells you who owns the domain name and um, can give an indication as to when it was registered and when it's um, coming up for renewal. Because if the domain name you're after isn't available, you might find it's available soon and you could um, potentially open up negotiations with the owner of that uh, domain name. But just for now, I'll take a simple option, domain name search tool. And there's a number of options available, but on the first page, other than the three option at the top, Domain search advanced domain name search tool. Let's have a look at that one. That actually takes us to GoDaddy. And let's see what it comes up with. We click in this uh, box here, the search box, and we'll put in a name. So if we went for, for instance, travel photography guru and go search. Sorry, travelphotographyguru.com is not available. That's because I own it. But then it gives some suggestions. Tripphotographyguru.com, travelphotographyguru.net, etc. And comes up with some, um, you know, prices. Some, alt yeah, so that, you know, alternative um, options there. It's pretty straightforward, though. You just um, come up with a name that you really like and come up with some options because if the name is that amazing there's every chance it's already taken and then I, I think it's important to think are you looking globally in that case you see travelphotography.com is really important uh, I'm in Australia travelphotographyguru.com.au is fine um, but given that I'm looking for a, a global market looking towards a global market it makes sense to have travelphotographyguru.com um, really because um, if people know the name of your business and they type in travel photography guru well they're not they're unlikely to go travel photography guru.com.au if they're outside of Australia people often don't think like that so um, dot com is really going to be the one I think for most parts of the world so I, I think that's the best option to go for and it suggests you're global as well if that's important to you if uh, it's really just a local market then you would be um, uh, it'd be easier probably to secure uh, for instance a dot uh, com dot um, is which I believe is Iceland from memory okay so that's pretty straightforward I hope and there are other um, domain searches uh, domain name search tools you can look for um, which I've listed in the notes but that gets us going for now hope that works out for you all the best and see you in the next video bye bye